All right, so after we were chased around by that thing over in that forest right there, ran all the way back here to our house. But we need iron again, because look at this. Our iron armor is in bad shape. We are almost down with our iron pickaxe. And we also need ourselves another security camera to put upstairs in our upstairs farm. So, right here. And to do that, I'm going to go look for a mountain. Hopefully there will be some, maybe a mountain in that direction, which has lots of iron on the side. Now, let's see. Hmm. Need to check around. Safe. Before we go. So, we're going in this direction. And our house is back there. In that direction. We went to the right way of our house, basically. Hmm. We're just gonna keep going until we find some place with a lot of iron. Uh, yeah. For now, I'm gonna steer clear of any herds of sheep. Yeah, so I think that way is the same way we came during the first episode. Where we got through here and to the place where we ultimately build our, built our house. Ooh, there's a ravine over here. Do I wanna, do I wanna go down there though? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Please don't spawn on me. Please don't let anything spawn on me. Uh, okay, I think that ravine does go pretty deep. Hmm. Let's check it out. Uh, I really don't like being in a forest right now. Because those things can jump out from the trees. Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, get up on this tree right here. So, there's a mountain in that direction. I think it should contain some iron, frankly. But I'm a little scared to get down from my tree right here. I mean... I think these things can spawn on top of trees, but I think it's actually safer if I stay on top of these trees right there. Here. Ow! Uh oh, I fell down. Gotta climb back up. Okay, right here, I'm basically doing some tree hopping to get all the way over to that mountain. Another benefit of this tree hopping right here is that it gives us a nice view of this entire area. So that way we can actually spot things much further. Hmm. So that right there is where we want to go. Uh, one more thing though, is that I'm going to try and hold up in one of these trees when night falls. I don't know if I can do that, I think I can. But that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold up in one of these trees once the sun goes down. So. I've made it on to the mountain. I decided to build myself a, this little pillar right here. To basically stand on. This little pillar made of wood planks, which I actually took out a section of. So that way, if any of those dwellers spawn, they won't be able to climb up. Because those things can actually climb, unfortunately. So, hmm, let's think. We're on a mountaintop. Ooh, there's a wolf! Hold on, hold on. Oh god, I don't have bones. Oh, but there's a wolf. Uh, come on. But first though, we gotta look for some iron. We'll certainly come back to tame that wolf though. Hmm. Ah, you know what? We're actually gonna go into the water here. We're gonna try and find the open sea. Find another treasure chest to find some iron in. Or a shipwreck. Hopefully this river can lead to a open sea. Just take a mental note to myself. If I want to get back, just look at look for that mountain. Take a little bit of a mental note to myself to look at landmarks to avoid getting lost. Ooh, what's this? A village! Whoa, there's a village right here. Wow. Alright, let's check this place out. Hopefully they'll have something useful. And this is also a place where I can shelter if night falls. We're also going to use this village, however, as another landmark. So basically, this village 
right here is the landmark. And then we go back in that direction, there's the mountain we were just on as a, the other landmark. That way we can essentially trace our way back home. Okay. I've finished scouring around this village. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. So, I guess we'll go now. Okay, I'm really nervous right now to try and go across this field over to the mountain. Because... I don't know if those things can spawn randomly on the way. Do a bit of scanning. Uh, a really high place. Uh, huh? For a second, I thought I heard that villager thing. I mean, the villager thing could spawn. That's for sure. And it's raining. I mean, even if it is not a thunderstorm, we're still gonna wait for the rain to blow over, just to be safe. Alright, a lot of hostiles are down there. Should I take them out? Yeah, I guess I will. How many arrows do I have? Hopefully I have enough. Mm, yeah. Come on. Okay, that's one down. Two down. Eight arrows. Hmm. Oh, I can see a Terrorbrine down there. I can just see his arm. <gasps> no, 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 I see. How did he get up there? No, 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 please. Why, 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 why? No, no, no. Oh, I died. Ah. How? How did he climb up? Well. I made it back here. Like, how did he manage to climb up there? Uh, okay, maybe I should have made it two blocks instead of one. That little gap right there. Anyways. Here it is. We've made it to the top of this mountain right here. Ah. Uh, I think there should be iron right there, along the side of the mountain. So, we just place some water down here. Now, let's see, where is that iron? There should be iron somewhere around here. I did a little survey, bit of surveying, by the way. And there was a bit of iron somewhere around this place. Mm, oh god, don't, don't fall into those, those spiky spikes. Uh, that's just copper. Mm. So, after scouring that mountain quite a bit, I managed to come away with six bits of raw iron. So, in that case, we're actually going to head back in that direction and towards this beach. Like, when I was climbing down the other mountain, way in that direction, I saw that there was a beach on the other side. Now, let me just cook some of the meat I got. I killed a few animals along the way. Hmm, where can I find a furnace? Is there a furnace in this village? Mm, no. There does not seem to be a furnace in this village. Well then. Let me just go then. I guess. Now, do I remember which direction we came in from? Uh, I think so. Come on. This river, I think, only goes in one direction. Hmm. Well, okay, that right there is the mountain we were at. And I think the beach is in that direction, so we're going to have to get across. Here it is. This is the beach I was talking about. Hmm. Uh, does this lead to an open ocean? Let's check it. Huh? What's that? Ooh, I saw something of a structure. Let me see. Oh, there it is. You can just faintly see it right there. See that? Mm. Yeah, should we go investigate it? Mm. Maybe later. But in any case, you guys notice that, right? You can just faintly see it through the trees. Mm. Hmm? What's that? Oh, 
Oh, it's a shipwreck. Shipwreck. Let's check it out. Hopefully it doesn't just lead us to another buried treasure we found. Already. Ah, yes. There's actually a lot of iron in here. Iron ingots. Quick, quick, quick. Get them out before we drown. Start drowning. <gasps> okay. Uh, actually, never mind. We could just stand up there. Uh, how many iron nuggets? Nope, that's not enough for an iron ingot. We will take these emeralds, however. That way we can trade with villagers if we find one. Alright. Let's get ourselves a bottle, that bottle of enchanting. So, let's see, is there a buried treasure map down below? Please don't let any of those things spawn whilst I'm doing my thing. Ah, yes, here it is. We have ourselves a buried treasure map. Let me just put away some stuff. Uh, okay, please. <gasps> oh god, it's right there! Oh! Oh, he's trying to get through the tree, alright. The, the, the cartoon cat. Okay, let's get back to the boat. Quick, 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 quick. We don't want that thing to chase us. Where is it? Where is it? Where's our boat? Oh, there it is. Okay, the buried treasure is somewhere on land, but we can't go on without, with the cartoon cat right there. And besides, sun is setting. So, in that case, let's actually go back to the point where we started keep that mountain in sight so that way we'll know which direction to go once we finish is it gone okay looks like it's gone however i'm gonna wait until the day comes to dig the treasure now one upside of dying i guess you could say is that when you die your place of death gets marked that way when you spawn back at home you can find your way back to the place you died and therefore you can sort of memorize a new path to find home. Now, the reason I'm standing on this wooden platform right here is both to avoid the drowned zombies, which are in the river down below, as well as those dwellers. Because as you can see, right here I took out two... Hold on. I took out two blocks in between. There it is. Now, as for the treasure we're looking for, it's definitely in that direction. Somewhere over there. Just need to wait for it to get to day, or we start digging. That place. What? Uh-oh. Drowned has tried to steal my boat. Let me see. How many arrows do I have? Five arrows. Hmm. Did I take it out? Eh, uh, you know what? Maybe not. I'll wait for day to come, so that way it burns. And it's gone. Woo! Okay, that, that really startled me for a second. Ah. Oh. Would you look at that? The drowned is burning. Okay. Woo! Perhaps I'll just shoot it to speed up. Or, never mind. Oh, actually, nope, uh, wrong direction. We're traveling in the wrong direction. Treasure. Oh, okay, that, that thing is right there. Ugh. Probably best to pay no heed to it. Okay. Treasure is in this area. Why is that specter still there? Uh, hopefully that's not a sign of something bad to come. There it is. This should be the spot. Let's start digging. Uh, please don't let anything jump out at us again. Okay, I'm actually going to seal this place up just to ensure those things don't fall in and start chasing me. Ooh. Cobblestone. Here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Nice. Found it. Let's see what it's got. Uh, okay. Two. Oh, actually, uh. We got 12 iron ingots, one diamond, nice! Ooh, um, TNT, let's take the TNT, actually. TNT, cooked cod, and should we take the gold? Yeah, I guess we'll take the gold. Oh man, my inventory is really full right now. Let me just get rid of that buried treasure map. Potion of water breathing. Let's take that, we don't need cobblestone, I don't think. 
Uh, our iron pickaxe is real close to breaking, though. Let's take the emeralds as well. Whew. Okay. Now that we got that buried treasure, let's get home. We gotta get home now. Ugh. Okay, let me see. Which direction do we come from? Is that the mountain? Yeah, okay. Let me take a second to pinpoint our direction. Okay, that's not really... That's not the mountain we came from. That is the way we came from. Ah! Here we are. Made it home. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get inside. Uh, get inside, get inside. Uh, come on. Close the fence gates, please. Ooh. There we go. We now have one more security camera, which we're going to use to monitor the upstairs farm. Okay, luckily there's nothing up here. Here. Let's find that camera. There it is. Put a few torches around just to light it up. Night. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Now, if you're wondering why the ceiling is now dripping water, well, that's because I built a farm. Here it is. This right here is the farm that we are starting to build on the second floor of our house. Okay. Mm, I don't have it all filled out just yet, but I certainly will. Hmm. I don't want it to be all wheat, though. I want to plant some other stuff. But where am I supposed to get the seeds for other things? It's raining out there. I don't know if I want to go outside. Nah, I, I guess I'll go outside. Now, we're going to go to that mountain out there in the forest to tame some wolves. Because I actually saw some wolves when we were there. Here we are. Oh, wow, it took just one bone? Yay! I now have a wolfy boy. All right. Boy, boy, let's go home. Quick, let's move. Woo! Nice. We made it home. All right, wolfy boy. How do you like your new home? Aww. Look at him. He's so cute! I'm just gonna keep him at home, though, just in order to keep him safe. Well, we already have our farm right here. It's already pretty full of wheat. But I want to plant something else here. So, in that case, I guess we'll go back There's to the village and cut off. trade some, trade for some seeds. Uh, from stomach, shut up, cartoon cat! Bones being shattered to dust. Ah, uh, well, still, as I was saying, what we want to do here is that we're going to plant something other than wheat, like maybe some veggies or fruit. Yeah. So to do that, we are going to go back in that direction and head into that village we came across. Sorry, Wolfie boy, I'm going to have to leave you at home. I don't have a name for him yet, but hopefully I'll be able to craft a name tag somewhere down. I mean, I already have a name in mind for him. But we're gonna have to get a name tag first. Alright, well, we have made it back to this village right here. Let's see. Uh, I feel a bit bad for stealing this village's crops. Oh. What do they have here? Let's check it out. Is there a farmer I can trade with? can actually plant potatoes here. Well, yeah, okay, I guess I'll take that. But did I just get wheat seeds? That's wheat. Ooh, carrots. I'm gonna plant at least one of these back, just to compensate. <gasps> oh, oh, the goat man's right in that house! Oh, please don't. No, 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 no. He was right there in that house. I mean, he could definitely break down doors, but... Okay, he didn't spot us. As long as we're not, as we're not spotted, we're good. 
from the village, we got this. We got six beetroot seeds and five carrots. Uh, that's not nearly enough, though. Now, we decided to explore a bit further than the display, than that shipwreck, which is where we... Hold on, what fell on my hand? Uh, oh, uh oh. Did something just fall on my hand? Ah, you know what? Anyways, that right there is the shipwreck we raided. So I'm gonna use that as a landmark for this area. We're also gonna turn this beach right here and also that hill into a landmark. And also that nether portal in that direction. We're actually gonna explore a bit further in this direction. Before we go home, that is. Ooh, there's another one of those structures that we saw. You know, we saw one of those structures back in the forest somewhere back there. I forgot where it was, but see that? It's another one of those structures right there. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Well, here we have a much closer view of it. Hmm, looks like something of an altar. Uh, but it looks creepy. See that? Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. We're not going to go there. Ooh, there's another shipwreck in that direction. And what's that? Oh, another one of those houses. There's another one of those back where, near where our house is. I'm not going to check what, that one out, though. I'm going to check out this shipwreck. Ooh, look at this. Tons of iron. Iron ingots. Iron ingots galore. Go. Doing that. So, in this direction, that's my house right there. We're in the direction that goes behind my house. In this direction, there's another one of those, see that? Those shrine structure thingies. Now that we have everything completed, our tasks for this video, that is our searching for plants to farm and also searching for iron, we're gonna go explore that thingy right there. I don't know what's gonna hold, what it's gonna hold for us, I mean. Ugh, sorry that I can't talk. What even is this? Gotta take a closer look. Hmm, let's build up. Hmm? This is a bit pretty creepy looking. Try a different time. Try a different time. Try a different time. Uh, what are these? Handles? Hmm. I don't know what this requires, however. I'm gonna have to look it up. Now, I did a little bit of scouring around on the internet, and I think this thing might need a flint and steel to activate. Right now, though, it's day, and I think we're gonna have to wait for it to get night in order to activate it. So, I also did a little bit of searching around, and these are red candles. This is what's called a ritual block off. Do I want to do this? Ah, might as well wait. Well, I'm out here at night. Really, really nervous. What happens if we light this? Can I do it? Nope. Try a different time. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Don't want to do that. Oh. Ooh, okay. Please don't let anything spawn on here. Get back up. Before something spawns. Did you just see that? That candle had a little bit of a flame. Don't know, I don't know what that means. What am I supposed to put in that little hole right there? Oh, there it is. There's that flame again. Can I go down? Oh, 
What even is this thing? Gotta it's know. A game of cat and mouse. <sighs> hmm. So let's see. This right here is my current iron armor. And this is a new set of iron armor that I'm craft. Now I'm thinking. Perhaps we should get ourselves an anvil. An anvil to help basically repair our current armor with the new armor I crafted, as well as to perhaps rename a few things. Like, we're going to need an anvil if we want to use a name tag on our wolfy boy. And of course, I already have a name in mind for him. I'm not going to tell it to you. With regards to this shrine, however, I actually did a bit of searching on the internet and found some YouTube videos about it. And basically, what it requires is what's called the Tear of the Man, which you can only acquire by killing the Man of the Fog. Now, of course, we don't have that right now. And you're gonna have to find the time to try and kill it, though. And scream, they always scream. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this shrine does when you activate it, but. I'm a bit excited and also kind of nervous to try and find out what it does.